special guest tonight is Julie Matheson. Julie has registered WA's newest independent party for next year's state election. Julie was born and raised in the Pilbara, became one of Australia's first certified financial planners and was awarded a Distinguished Service Award for her services to that profession. In 2011, she was elected as a councillor to the city of Subiaco, is a recent arts graduate of UWA in political science and international relations and was recently elected to the UWA Convocation Council for a three-year term. Julie, first question has to be, what made you set up the party? I couldn't find a party that I wanted to stand for or, or support that wasn't influenced by the power base from, from Canberra or from other states. So I formed Julie Matheson for Western Australia with all of my friends and family and it's been a great success. It's been a great reaction. It has. We've had um, so much communication from people by email, phone calls, um, on social media. It's been a tremendous response and we have a number of fearless candidates who want to stand up and represent Western Australia, not political parties from the eastern states. Now, if I might quote you, you've said uh, that uh, you've met with many communities whose lives have been affected by quongos, uh, government red tape mm -hmm. and bureaucracy. And your message to them is, you've had your fun, we're shutting you down. That's a big statement to make. It is. And with the balance of power, and that's what our candidates stand for, the candidates come out of the communities that have been affected by these government agencies and they want to shut them down. And so we're looking for the balance of power, you know, having at least six of our candidates to be elected, and I hope I get elected. But the main thing is that our candidates represent Western Australia and shine a torch on things that are happening, like the family court system, which issues court orders but doesn't enforce them. It freezes um, people's assets, they can't access their assets, and it stops people from accessing their children. So the family court system is a big problem here in Western Australia. Some of the other agencies, the Development Assessment Panel. Yes, the Development Assessment Panel was set up in 2011. It bypasses the community, it doesn't care about the community, bypasses the council and approves outrageous developments in existing communities. It will put a five or six storey building right next to a, a one or two storey home and undermine the integrity of that home and the streetscape. So it's a disaster and it needs to be shut down. Uh, another agency, the EPA, you commented on? Yes, the Environmental Protection Authority. I mean, we all thought that the, the Environmental Protection Authority was here to protect the environment, but it's not. It approves uh, houses in, in wetlands. It approves um, dust licences, so the maximum dust can be emitted in the Pilbara, and people have to work in the maximum dust levels. Uh, it doesn't allow any other industry to go into the Pilbara, and we know that the Pilbara is the heart of our economy, and we need to, to open up that economy, get rid of the red tape, and stop the EPA from doing these deals that protect one multinational company or maybe another from other industries um, in Western Australia. In fact, you've got quite a few agencies in your site because you've also got the WA Planning Commission, the Building Commission and the State Administrative Tribunal. Well, just let me tell you about those two, those three agencies. People save up. They put their life savings into their own, to building their new home. They engage in a, uh, a licensed builder by the Building Commission and they're expecting a great outcome. But what, what we've been finding, and there's more than 5,000 families been affected by Shonky Builders WA. Now, Shonky Builders come in and they build these homes and they take no responsibilities for the, roof, for the roofs coming in, plaster falling off the walls, um, brickwork not undertaken correctly. It's turning people's dreams, their life dreams and their life savings into nightmares and it needs to be shut down. You've got a massive task ahead of you, um, but uh, you've got a lot of support from candidates. We have, and with the balance of power and our fearless candidates, we can, we can turn this around. We can put a blowtorch to all these shonky agencies who are ruining people's lives. They're, people are expecting things to be done, but they're not. The red tape is holding back Western Australia. I want to cut red tape and make WA great. 
So if anyone wants to contact you about this, whether they want to be a candidate or just to give you their support, uh, how do they do that? Well, they can contact me um, via my website, juliematheson.com.au, or they can send me an email, jcmatheson at bigpond.com, or they can phone us on 041 906 393. We would love to hear from everyone. And our candidates are fearless. They have uh, their retired military people, their architects, town planners, building in inspectors, and we have teachers and Rotarians who raise lots of money. These people are passionate about Western Australia, and I welcome everyone to, to support our, our party, Julie Matheson for Western Australia. Julie, thank you very much for coming on to the Daily News, and uh, good luck next year. Thank you so much, Russell. It's great to be here.